What's your background? Um, business, basically business and technology. More specifically, what, what sort of things are you involved in? Um, I run a technology hedge fund. What do you think the future has in store? Well, I think the future has uh, many amazing things in store. The, the, uh, the quicker we can upload, the better, and get out of the biological substrate and into uh, silicon or other type of substrate. Um, I also think that it's quite possible with the, as we heard, Werner Vinge and, and Kurzweil this morning, it's quite possible that uh, when AI arrives, it has absolutely no use for humans. And so this sort of optimistic idea that humans will um, be allowed to continue living and running around the world consuming resources when uh, they're um, a relic is probably just uh, our own anthropomorphic uh, romanticism with the AI topic. Do we need to be afraid? Um, oh, well, it's inevitable, so we might as well. There's one argument that says we'll just live like Rome, you know, the last, enjoy our last years uh, while we can. And um, however, uh, we don't, so it's inevitable, we can't prevent it. But re in reality, what, what we would really want is to be uploaded and so that we consume, we don't consume physical, real, uh, physical world resources to too much extent but rather um, just a little bit of storage and electricity for compute power. And in fact, there are probably ways, there are probably reasons that AIs should allow human intelligence to continue because in um, these computer simulations, in our uploaded environments, we'll be able to do, there are certain properties that humans have that AIs don't have, such as fallibility or irrationality or creativity that probably can't be modeled in AI and that humans do have. And so once you get six billion human minds uploaded into a computer substrate, somewhere, probably there'll be an additional emergent properties and in fact tremendous value and new uh, forms or new, just new aspects that will emerge that could actually be useful to AI. If it, you say it's inevitable, when do you think it's going to happen? I don't know. I'd love to see it in our lifetimes. We're all fairly young right here, but um, it may not happen in our lifetimes. I don't know. Probably in the century, within this century. Um, not as early as the 2020, 2030, or even 2050 that some people think, uh, but probably in some, sometime in the, uh, maybe shortly after 2050, but not more immediately. It just takes so, everything's accelerating, but it's still taking too long. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's going to require some major technological advancements. Mm -hmm. so what, what are some, some of those things that need to happen before this? Well, some of the things we need to understand, uh, we need to be able to create uh, an artificial intelligence. And so we're right now, one of the roadblocks is um, the end of Moore's law in regard to semiconductors. So we're moving to molecular 3D semiconductor structures. That'll be sort of the next thing in the 20 teens or so. Um, that's the first immediate roadblock. So we need our hardware um, compute power will continue to grow exponentially. That's fairly easy. Road, roadblocks are known, and there'll probably be solutions fairly easily. Software is much, much harder problem. Uh, as well as this, uh, we're sort of stuck in the paradigm that we need to, that an AI needs to be quite similar to humans, that we need to understand the, how the human brain works and recreate it uh, via simulation or other, other models um, in a computer environment. And in fact, maybe there are lots of other models of intelligence that aren't simulations of human intelligence that can be created in an AI world and that do have still some, not just pure, cold, rational computer um, properties but do have some aspects uh, of e what we call emotions or other uh, or a conscience or um, those t uh, morality those types of properties could exist in a computer-based intelligence but uh, we don't one of the ro one of the roadblocks is that we humans think we have to recreate essentially recreate our own cap capabilities in a computer environment maybe there are many other types of um, computer-based intelligence that don't have to rely on us waiting to understand how our own brains work. What haven't we talked about that needs to be said? Um, I think that's it. Those are all my, my memes for the moment. <laughs> Did you have anything, Brian? Uh, sounded great. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.